The sequence merge tag displays the result number of an entry. Think of it like an entry counter. In this view, I have a list of books, and I want to display the number of each result next to the title. The first book should show number one, the second book should show number two, etc. To do this, let's edit the view and scroll down to the book title field and edit the book field options. I click show label and then I'm going to enter the number symbol and I'm going to add the merge tag sequence. I'm going to save the view and let's check out how it looks. You can see how the number symbol and the sequence number is now the label for Wuthering Heights. And see how the number increases for each entry? That's what the sequence merge tag does. So now I have the list counting up from one, two, three, but what happens if I want to have it count down? I can do that using the reverse modifier. I'll show you how. I'm going to edit the view again, edit the book title field, and in the sequence merge tag, I'm going to add a space and then include the word reverse. Now I save the view and refresh. And now the highest number is first. And if we go to the next page, you'll see that it counts down to number one. So one thing to note is normally you can use merge tags throughout Gravity Forms, but the sequence merge tag will only work inside Gravity View fields in a view. So that's the basic of using the sequence merge tag. To learn more, check out the Gravity View docs site, and we have a whole article written up on it. And uh, thanks for your time.